morning. Good morning, everyone. And how are you doing this morning, this Saturday morning? Have had a lot of time since yesterday. I came back from a burial ceremony to think about life. And I just wanted to check with you guys, see how you are doing, chat with you. Life is a mystery. And the Bible says that we know in part and we see in part. But God knows everything. Even in this Christmas season that uh, the whole world is celebrating, they doesn't choose the season it comes. They doesn't know what is Christmas or festivities. It leaves us with one thought, to live our lives right. Redeeming the time for the days are evil. The Bible also says that the, the, the thief cometh but to steal, kill, and to destroy. But God came that he might give us life in abundance. So let's live vigilantly. Let's live soberly. Let's redeem the time because the days are evil. Death doesn't select who and when. Since yesterday I came back from this burial, from the cemetery, I've been thinking so deep about life. And I just thought I should come and share with you my thoughts, my feelings, and my experience, please. The Bible say, as much as it lies within you, live in peace with all men. Live in peace with all men. When you close your eyes today, what would people say about you? What would be your testimony? Even as we do vlogmas, do celebration and merriment, some people are mourning, some people are crying some people are in tears over loved ones let's be aware of that i just thought i should bring it out there let's live a life that when we live people will say good things about us live a life of impact a life of blessings to others because there's a finality in death on this side of life that is terrifying if not to you that have died, to the loved ones you leave behind. So guys, I had a very, very, very sobering experience yesterday at the cemetery and I wanted to share with you guys. This short video of four minutes, the aim is to make you think deeply about your life, especially in this festivity. Think about your life. Think about your relationship with everyone around you your colleagues, your family, your friends. Think about your relationship. Think about your life. Think about your purpose here on earth. Why God created you in the first place. Please do right. Let us do right. May we receive the grace to do right here on earth. So that when death come calling, or when Christ comes, whichever one comes first, we will meet our God in confidence. We will meet our God as faithful servants. Thank you for listening to my rant this morning. And enjoy this short clip. Thank you again and Merry Christmas. Unless Jesus comes, the generation that will not see death. Until then, this is the way of all mortals. It behooves us to live a life of goodness to mankind. God give us the grace. To abide in him till the end in jesus name as we see of our sister today let's pause and think about our own life it is well may god strengthen the children the grandchildren this daughter of africa for we are dust and unto dust we shall return. We commend our sister to the Lord. We ask the Lord God to embrace her in peace and raise her up on the last day. In the sure and certain hope of the resurrection to entire life, to eternal life, to our Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to the Almighty God, our sister, and grant her eternal peace. We ask this. 
Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. He is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 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 Which is beyond all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge of the love of God and His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And the Almighty God grant all of you peace and consolation. May He send you the Holy Spirit to comfort you. And the Almighty God, in His infinite love and mercy, bless you all in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So, we, the Daughters of Africa, have escorted our sister to her last resting place. We are going back now, retrieving to our vehicles. It is well. It is well. We are making our way back home. But let's think about this. The Bible says, appointed unto man once to die. And after that judgment, I hope we are conscious of this as we live every day with our neighbors. I hope we are conscious of this. For all of us daughters of Africa in Regina, Saskatchewan, think about our life. Think about our relationships. Think about the purpose God created us. Let's live right. Let us live right, guys. May we live right. May God give us the grace to live right. We receive the grace to live right. It's a sobering moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is appointed unto man who wants to die, and after that comes judgment. Lord, help us to live right. In Jesus' name, amen. Daughters of Africa in Regina, Saskatchewan.